Hi, welcome to the Joy D's resolution. My name is Alex Simpson and I'm the captain on board here. Together with the first mate Jerry, the second mate Steve and the third mate Rene, we make up the bridge team of the vessel. A bit later on, these gentlemen will teach you a little bit more about what they do on board, and what life is like at sea. We're presenting this from the middle of the Pacific Ocean, with 360 miles from the equator and 2,000 miles from Hawaii and almost 2,000 miles from Mexico. In other words, we are about as far from civilization as you can get. The Joy D's resolution is the most important research vessel in the world. It allows scientists to uncover the hidden secrets of our planet's history. Drilling into the Earth's crust in water depths ranging from 250 feet to 27,000 feet, she's 470 feet long, 70 feet wide, and most importantly, 215 feet tall. She has seven diesel engines, powering generators, which drive the two main propellers, and 12 side thrusters, which keeps the vessel on station. All these side thrusters and two main propellers are computer controlled by launch station. A typical complement is 66 crew, 25 science technicians, who all support up to 39 scientists from all over the world in their quest for knowledge. At present, these people are made up of representatives of 14 different countries. The ship works 24 hours a day, everybody works 12 hour shifts, so you can imagine that it's a huge relief to get into port after 60 days unsupported at sea, completely unsupported from any outside agencies. Hello, I'm uh, Jerry Embry, I'm the chief mate on the Jody's Resolution. Uh, I'm part of the bridge team that work up here on the bridge. Uh, and we're responsible for taking the ship uh, from port to port and uh, we load all the gear up in the uh, food and groceries and everything uh, equipment and we also move it around on the ship where it's required we have three big cranes out on deck and we have a team out on deck that also work with the bridge team and we tie up the ship and untie the ship and move all the gear around after all we get everything on board and loaded and secured, then we get underway. We have uh, Rennie, our safety officer. He goes around and checks all the safety gear and makes sure all of that's uh, PMS and uh, maintenance and everything. And then we have uh, our second mate. He takes care of the navigation. He's the one that gets us from one location to the next location and back to the port call. Hello, my name's Steve Bradley. I'm the second mate on Jody's resolution. I'm presently standing inside the dynamic positioning room of the vessel. This is the room that controls the position. Make, make sure we maintain full within a few meters, sometimes 10 meters of the well location while we're doing our coring operations. I've been aboard the Jody's resolution since uh, April of 2002. I joined the vessel in Valparaiso, Chile. Since that time, I've transited both the transited the Panama Canal a few times, crossed the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, worked off of India extensively, worked off Japan extensively, and uh, and did a lot of work in Singapore while we upgraded the vessel. I was there the whole time, so I've seen the whole remodel of the vessel. Before I joined the Jody's Resolution, I used to work on uh, drilling rigs for drilling for oil off of both. Uh, Angola and the Congo and then off Brazil for a while. Before that I worked oil tankers, sailed in the Navy when I was younger, when I was 17, and before that I was in the Sea Scouts when I was 13. So I pretty much have been working on vessels of various types since then, in various positions. I went to Maine Maritime uh, for an engineering degree and plus uh, to get better skills as far as my deck license. And then I decided to switch over back over to deck when I came to Transocean about 10 years ago. Sailing on a Jody's Resolution, 
is uh, a lot different than working on a ship. On a ship, sometimes you're only there for a one trip and you might not go back here where I always come back to the same same vessel all the time. I know the crew, this is as much family here as being at home. You know, I come back here and the same people are here, the same captain, the same mates, all the crew are all the same people. So we're pretty much family here. It's not like we uh, come and have a new crew every time. It's, uh, it's been great sailing on Jody's Resolution and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Hi, I'm Rene, came from Philippines, working third mate as on board Joyless Resolution. Commonly a question that raised to me myself is what education and training do I have before getting this job? First of all, I went to maritime school in the Philippines for four years, then I got my bachelor's degree, major in nautical studies and marine transportation. After accumulating sea time, I took my license as third mate, then I got the opportunity to work on board international vessels. My first vessel is a bulk carrier, came from Norfolk, Virginia down to Gent, Belgium. Then after a few years of sea time and experience, I got another job on board Joy this Resolution. I sailed with leg 307 from Dublin going to Mobile, Alabama. Now I'm working for almost four years on board. I'm happy to stay here and I like to work with this bunch of people. On board Joydist, I'm doing uh, life saving appliances, war fighting equipment, helping the chief officer doing uh, stability works, help the deck crew maintenance. And at the moment, I'm learning dynamic positioning when I can use it uh, in the future. Hello again. Ship's crew are a captain's greatest asset, but also our greatest challenge. The complexity of the human mind is such that it's not always easy to knit people from different parts of the world, of different generations, into a well-oiled machine. So as well as the crew being our greatest asset, they are also our greatest challenge. And it's a very satisfying challenge when you get to the bottom of it. Luckily, in the Joy Deed Resolution, we have an excellent crew. They all know their job. They all know what they have to do. And we like to send them home safely at the end of their two-month tour here. As a teenager, my mathematics wasn't so good. I had a particularly good teacher who grabbed me by the scruff of the neck, dragged me up from 20% to 95% my maths exams. As a result of that, I found maths quite easy and thought that navigation would be an easy route to a career. Then I found out when I got here that there was a lot, a lot more to it than just plain mathematics. There's physics, engineering, business and law, psychology, the whole nine yards. Being here is a very diverse way of working. Every day is a new challenge. Every day there's something new going on. And that's why I love it. Let's talk about family life. It's not easy being a seafarer. Especially when you have a young family. That's the hardest part. But nothing beats the thrill of leaving the vessel, getting on a plane from the other side of the world and travelling home again. It's the best feeling in the world, bar nothing. The one statement I would like to pass on to all of you, there's a world out there. Go explore.